Hello there, welcome to DAP. My name is Pina Prashant. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can use DAP to create and manage group accounts. So what I mean by that is say that you want to create a group membership where, for example, a school or a teacher can buy on behalf of their students. They can make a one-time payment or a subscription payment and the sub accounts can be fully managed by the group owner. As a site owner, you can configure the products that the group owners can manage and the group owners can fully manage their sub accounts and they can give them access to the products. They can remove access to the product. They can add new sub accounts. They can remove sub accounts. It can be fully managed by the group account owner. So let me show you how this works. So first thing you need to do is create your group membership product. This is the product that the group owners are going to purchase and you can assign the number of seats that the group owners can manage. So let's go ahead and create the product first. So click on create new product. Let's say we call it group membership. Is this a free product? No. Here, is this an online course? Is this a group membership? Set this to yes. So you can now assign the total number of seats that the group owners can manage. So say that 50 seats. Is this a subscription product or a one-time product? You can set that here. So say that it's $500 one-time fee and they can create and manage up to 50 sub accounts. Access duration, do they get full access or limited time access after their purchase? Say that it's full access, save and next. Continue with the setup. All right, so now you can assign content that's part of the group membership. And this is the content that the group owners are going to see. The cool thing about the group membership feature in DAP is that you can create completely different products for the student accounts or for the sub accounts. And you can designate the products that the group owners can manage. So the group owners are going to receive access to the group membership product and you can assign content that's part of this product and they can access this content. However, the group owners can assign the students access to completely different set of products. So you can assign content. So click on this, assign content that you want group owners to receive, save and next. Welcome email, you can send the group owners their login credentials, just the regular product stuff in DAP and uh, advanced settings, sales page, error page, redirect, where do you want them to land when they log in? All of this you can configure here and that's it. Okay, so your group membership product is now ready. So you can see here, this is the product that we just created. So now you can go to DAP, group membership page and here you can set up group membership rules. So here are your current group products. We only have one group rules. So here you can say if a group owner has access to, you can select the product, they can give their sub accounts access to and you can select one or more products that the group owners can manage and uh, give the sub accounts access to any one of these products. So say that you select this one and this one. So the group owners will have access to the group membership product but if you want to allow the group owners to only give access to these two products to their sub accounts, you can uncheck the group membership. So even though the group owner will have access to the group membership product, you can prevent them from giving their sub accounts access to the same group membership product. You can check the box next to the products that the group owners can manage. So here in this case, let's say these are the two products that the group owners can manage, create. So we have created this rule here, next. Create group membership page where your group owners can manage their sub accounts. So now you need to create a group membership page and allow your group owners to access that page so they can log in there and manage their sub accounts on that page. So this is the DAP member pages. Click on create new member page and select group management here. And this is how the table is going to look uh, to your group owners in the front end. They can add the sub accounts in bulk. They can add one at a time. So let's go ahead and click on next. And when they click on add a new user, add a new sub account, then this is going to show up in a pop-up and they can enter the user details and uh, add the sub account. So you can update all of this. There is a editor here. If you want to change the text, uh, if you want to change the style, next. All of these messages can be customized here. And that's it, click on save. It gives you a short code, copy this. Enter this on a WordPress page. I'm gonna call it manage sub accounts. Enter the short code here publish this. Now let's take a look at it in the front end. All right, so sorry, your account does not have access to this page. This is to be expected because I'm not logged in as a group owner here, so I cannot uh, see the table here and manage the sub account. So let's go ahead and add a new group account in DAP. So go to DAP members add page. So here you can select group membership, add a member. So now I'm going to log in as this group owner in DAP. So you can see here, this is how it looks in the front end. Group owners can now click on add in bulk. Uh, to add multiple sub accounts at once or they can click on add new sub account to add one sub account at a time. So this is how it works. And again, you can create your product as a group product in DAP, set the type as group membership 
uh, enter the total number of sub accounts that the account owners can create. You can set a max limit here. And then you can go to the DAP group membership page where you can set up your uh, group membership rules. You can let DAP know what products the group owners can manage here and you can enter the product names. And then you can create a group membership page where the group owners can manage their sub accounts. And as a site admin, if you want to see how many group owners you have and what sub accounts they have, you can go to the DAP members page and here you can filter by group account and you will find all the sub accounts that the group owners have added under them. So this is how it works. If you have any questions, please let us know. My name is Pina Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.